Here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 123 pounds. Shut down. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce, the Dragon Lee! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is my Ready. You ready to fight? All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. And we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is. And this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Slips. Let me see that hook now. Great punch landing with so much power. Way to hide that leg kick. The combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. There's a kick. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, huge block! Oh, that's a nice strike. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. 
Trying to establish that jab once again. Chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. You're Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. <laughs> oh, and he caught the kick. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh! Leg kick. So under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. Switching stances here. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used this punch to get to the target. All right, so a lot of highlights from which to choose after those previous five minutes. And on the other side, you better start checking some of these leg kicks, man. Yeah, and when your opponent is throwing that many leg kicks, it takes one good check. If he takes one, if he gets one good check off, he may deter him from throwing these kicks over and over. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kick. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Just unable to quite find that range. And both guys really throwing with authority. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and jump. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Counter punch attempt here, no good. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. That right hand hurt him a little bit. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Back and forth we go. Just a slip there. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so much. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hands. Everything changes when you're blasting over and over and over with leg kicks. 
and you start to see the damage, not only in the legs, but in the facial expression right in the point. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. Spent a lot of energy that round, forcing the takedowns. This round... All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked run, about run. his powerful kicks, how he attacks run. all sides of the body, the head, the legs. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Can't take many of those, you better check. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Massive, massive hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Oh, he might be out. throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Ooh, head kick lands on Earth. And he connects with the punch there. Just over three minutes to go. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here. In oh, he's oh. going Ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Nice straight punch. Back and forth we go! Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Big kick land. Big body kick land. about to start. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost mark in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round.
And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called to stop this contest at five seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You 